been looking at this heater tube situation that's going to be sighted underneath the rear seat and it occurred to me that I hadn't seen the tube that passes through the uh, tunnel there that accommodates the wire and links up to the actual control flap inside of the uh, heater tube itself. So I've done a little bit of digging and I actually found that the tube is still in place and it was buried underneath a load of seam sealer on both sides of the tunnel. Now I've just inserted a piece of wire because I was getting a little bit confused as to what control lever controls what. So this cable I've just removed from the left hand side control lever. It's got two wires attached to it and that operates the flaps on either side of the tunnel underneath the rear seat. You can see that these are the two wires that I've poked through from the rear and it's gone up to that lever there. The cable that's connected to the right hand side also has two cables spurring off of it and that controls both the control flaps at the heat exchanger end. I'm just glad that it's all in place really, that the tube's not blocked, the wire passes through it freely. So I'm just going to buy myself a piece of conduit tubing and then uh, get it linked up to that heater control flap so that the wire passes in the right direction. This rear quarter looks worse than it is but I've just slapped a big skim on there. A lot of it's going to be coming off but it's just to get that nice shape between the door and the panel itself. I had a broken wire inside this one but I've just made a new one out of the old cable that runs through the tunnel. Nice and strong now. Made a couple of spare hooks also out of the remnants of the old wire for the uh, rear control flaps, just in case. Still filling and sanding away where required. I've got to let a skim go off now, so I'm going to move the car back to the wall and make a start on trying to make a small piece of the heater channel that I just can't get hold of. Just marking a first of two out on some sheet steel now, and there's my little plan that I've just got from photos online. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, I don't know if you can guess. I just know that once I've made it as well, there's going to be people out there saying, oh, I've got two of them laying about in the shed. Can you guess what it is yet? So could you guess what I was making? They're actually the closing plates for the heater channel vents up in the front footwell. Now there's still a lot of work on the heater channel itself to make a nice little sliding channel for it to pass back and forth on. The dimples that I've just put in the bottom there, they should actually help as a stop when it's um, sliding along. I may need to trim a little bit of material off of each side, but I'm also going to put a hole on the reverse side there and do a little plug weld just so it uh, strengthens that clip up. Like I said, there's probably people talking to the screen right now saying, oh, I've got a couple of them stashed away, but honestly, I couldn't find them anywhere. So I've got one more to make, and then I'll uh, trial fit them and trim down where needed. Don't think they came out too bad. I've just got to make a channel now for it to slide back and forth in. But uh, it's going to need a little bit of angling, I think, by the looks of it. I've actually just got this uh, 10 millimeter steel rod, it was a meter in length, I've just cut it in half, but the, uh, the bore's looks like about a one and a half mil wall, so I'll just bore that out a little bit so it slips over the uh, collar of where the wire comes out. And that should, although be a little bit difficult to bend, it should sort out my uh, heater cable tube. Just enough to uh, slip over the existing collar there.
there we go there's three bends in there so I did try and use the pipe bender but this tube was a little bit too hefty for it as mentioned that wall inside is um, about a millimeter and a half so yeah just using the blowtorch and um, a bit of copper piping just to get a bit more leverage on it so that's pretty much the positioning of the tube that I've just bent so I'm going to put a little tack weld on the center section there just to hold it down to the floor pan and I will be finalizing the actual length of this tube later on the uh, cables pass through it and it's got a little connection buckle that connects the two portions together allowing that flap to uh, go back and forth there but let's get the other side done I've just gone and put some foil tape over the heater tubes there just to help the hot air flow through the uh, ducting system. I'll insert a picture on the screen of what I'm actually making but I've been looking for the correct gauge wire to attempt making the um, clamp basically that holds the vent cover on the actual heater channels. Now I've just put two allen keys in the vise and I've been going around bending the angle to the desired pattern on the actual wire it should work it just holds the um, vent cover in place one down one to go so that is how it sits and I obviously can't show you how it works as yet because I haven't got enough hands and the uh, top track is yet to be fixed to the heater channel Another skimmer filler, but uh, most of that I get sanded off. I've got hours of fun here to make it better than it was, and I'll see you on the next one.